good morning. Welcome to Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. I'm Brooke Allen. We are sorry. We are a little bit late. I was getting my coffee, so I apologize for that. This is episode 18. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. Of course, we are at a new location, and it is just gorgeous in here. We are at May Lee Coffee. Uh, we are inside Treat Dreams, right off Woodward. Uh, in fabulous Ferndale. So we will be here every Monday in March. So uh, make sure to come out and say hello. They've got wonderful coffee. Of course, we'll be checking in with Jocelyn, uh, the owner, a little bit later. Uh, we will speak into the owner, Jocelyn, but also what is coming up this morning? Is it perfect weather for a pot pie? Maybe. We're seeing some sunshine. Of course, spring is just eight days away, but in my opinion, it's always a perfect day for a pot pie. Uh, pie day is coming up. Also, uh, we'll tell you more in our women in business segment and we'll tell you about the latest research uh, touting the benefits of ketamine therapy for PTSD and also for those with depression. So when you think of snacks, you probably think of popcorn or I know for me it's hot tamales or good and plenty, but what about sea moss? Uh, yes, well, sea moss will come to mind as a snack after our Great Lakes Made segment uh, that is coming up. Also, it is Curtains Up on Village Players where uh, their latest show just opened this weekend and it is Cemetery Club. Actually, I've seen it a few times. It is one of my favorite shows, so we will be checking in with Sally uh, from Village Players. Also, uh, we do have a very tasty giveaway today, especially uh, for the night you don't want to cook dinner. Here are the rules. You need to follow Caffeinated Conversation with Brooke Allen's Facebook page, like, share, and comment uh, with the number 18 because this is episode 18. We're so thrilled about that. And guess what? If you've already won, you can't win again, so don't even try to trick me. Of course, uh, it is time for our Coffee of the Day segment. Jocelyn Chen, uh, she is the owner. She is just back in the country. We will check in with her later, but trust me when I say the coffee here is fabulous. Uh, there's so many to choose from, and they've got the Chantelly cream that is delicious. So uh, definitely come in and tell you that um, and check that out. Also, uh, you are watching Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. Thank you so much for joining us on this Monday. This is where we brew up topics from a woman's point of view. And of course, we are live from the beautiful uh, Maylee Coffee Shop in uh, Ferndale. And also coming up, we will tell you how you can help a local nonprofit uh, break a world record. And it all has to do with hair. Uh, we'll explain that coming up. Of course, we do want to give a big caffeinated thank you to all of our streaming partners. We keep adding more. It is really amazing and we are so thankful. Uh, that list keeps on growing and we actually added several new ones this week. So first, you can always find the show on my Facebook page, which is Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. Also on the Facebook page at My Michigan TV, which uh, broadcast our show each week and on the Facebook pages of our sponsors, which include uh, Time More Vintage. Also, uh, Michigan Institute of Neurological Disorders, uh, Drip IV Therapy and Hydration, and our community partner, uh, Shades of Pink Foundation. Also, uh, Linda at Skinny Tea, she is broadcasting for us. Frameable Faces, Doug and Allie, and Artisan Bath and Skin Care. Also, uh, Sherry at Design Team Plus, Catalyst Media, and Sari Chikarel PR. Also, Ellie Mental Health West Bloomfield, and also Ellie Mental Health in Novi. Again, we just keep adding the streaming partners uh, to our list, and we are so thankful for that. It is episode 18 and uh, we are here every Monday this month and of course uh, what is coming up so uh, we are going to check out our community partner Shades of Pink Foundation uh, let's watch this video Oh, there's no video, so never mind. Uh, you know what? You want to join our team. Uh, you can find that information on our Facebook page, and that is Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. Uh, so we are winging it today, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, I am here with Dr. Drake, um, and uh, what is so interesting about this is that uh, it's ketamine therapy, right? And there I know when I first read about this, uh, there is a lot of stigma associated with ketamine. I mean, it has been approved for therapy and depression, those with PTSD, but kind of dispel that myth for me so people know what we're talking about. So, um, so yeah, so thanks for having me and, and for bringing up this topic. So many people, when they're here ketamine, may think the first thing they may think is, is that a, a horse tranquilizer or is that already drug? Or, or, or a street drug, um, and yes, it, it, that it is used as a as a horse tranquilizer. Yes, people do use it at raids, but it's also a FDA-approved anesthetic that's been 
50 years um, that has psychedelic properties that are very beneficial and transformative when used in a structured and organized way. So when you're using it in a guided way with structure and with uh, the appropriate support, it's incredibly transformative. And a lot of people, I mean, I was on your website all weekend long, and it was so interesting. The people, I mean, they had, uh, they maybe had suffered from trauma, uh, PTSD, uh, bipolar depression, and this this really helps them, and it helps quickly sometimes. Yes. So uh, many people feel better right after one treatment. Um, and then with the support process that we use at, at our center that supports them to be changed long term. So having the experience uh, using ketamine um, lifts the mood, it, it lifts depression, it lifts the cloud, it can be like a brain reset. Um, that effect can be temporary. And what we do at, at our center is we support people in learning ways to keep that alive. So we give them tools, we teach them mindfulness, meditation, we do creative work, uh, we even use virtual reality, um, all of these things that when someone's had a transformative experience with, from a ketamine experience, that we help them keep it alive. And at the center, I mean, you guys are there every step of the way. Absolutely. You know, so you're not just saying, okay, well, here it is, and have a good day. I hope you feel better. I no. mean, you guys walk alongside them and really explain what's happening every mm -hmm. step. Every, every step. We're there from the beginning of the process. Before someone even gets ketamine, they've spent two and a half hours with us. We, we sit down, we get to know them, we get to know where they're coming from and build a road map. And then we sit down again and talk about this is how you get ready for this powerful experience. And this is the right mindset for you to bring that you get the most out. And then when they have the actual experience themselves, we're right there. We sit right there in the room. I'm there. My partner is there. No one ever does it alone. We're not advocates for doing this uh, at home. There are places that do that. that you know, will I did send see it to that, you. and I thought, do you really want a box of ketamine showing up on your door? You I didn't know, think there, I did. And, and, you know, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Okay. Um, and you know, there's you can get that temporary effect of the ketamine without that support and the guidance and having someone there. Sometimes it can just slip through your fingers. Yeah. And so we really support our patients in, in getting the insight and then keeping it alive. Um, and so that when, at the end of their treatment, they're different. They're not just, this isn't just something that you do for a short period of time and then you feel better and then you go on about your life or, or you know, it, it wears off. Um, in, in our process, people are different at the end. They, they have a different relationship with themselves. They have a different relationship with their past trauma, they have a different relationship with sadness, right? So, you know, so when life comes along, they have more resilience to it. And, you know, they might have a bad day, but you don't sink into the pit and stay there the way that you did before. Right. Now you've got tools that lift you out of it. And, you know, uh, you mentioned sadness, and mm -hmm. I know that you suffered an incredible loss with your sister. Yes. Uh, you've actually written a booklet about this mm -hmm. that kind of ties into the center as well. And, I mean, we both know that grief, right? I mean, it can sneak up on you, and mm -hmm. especially when it's a tragic situation, it, it sneaks up on you, and you're, you're just bowled over. Yes. Right? And um, so talk to me a little bit about that so people know, that, I mean, that you are... You are in this for the long run, and and you understand. Yeah, for you sure. You understand what they're feeling. Absolutely. So, it, as you were alluding to, I, I lost uh, my sister uh, tragically to, to suicide, um, which ironically happened right after we'd started this practice. We'd only been open six months, and that happened. Um, and so, I was put in a situation where I really had to to practice what I preach and to say, can this really work for this? Okay. You know, this is really really overwhelmingly painful. Can anything help with this? And the answer is yes. What I found was through the process of combining intention and using these, these uh, the ketamine treatments, it enabled me to have a different relationship with that loss, to shift my relationship with the fact that that happened and still be alive. Mm -hmm. right? to, and appreciate to, life, and to right? still appreciate life, to say, I'm, I'm still here, I have love to give, there's things that I can still do in this world, and there's this loss, so it shifts your relationship with it. Before I had that, went through this process of myself, I couldn't even talk about it. I mean, I would literally start to shake at the memory of it. And then on the other side of that experience, I can't talk about it. I can be present. I can, I can be at peace with the fact that that happened and there's still things to do and, and, to, and to, you know, bring that forward and support other people. You can get to the other side of this. It is possible. It takes work. Mm -hmm. It takes, you know, support. It takes 
powerful and transformative <laughs> experiences right. like a psychedelic. Uh, but yeah, you can get to the other side of these things and stay there. Okay, so for anyone who may be interested and may be you know, dealing with one of these conditions we've talked about and may be interested in reaching out to you and your lovely wife, she is yes. here as well, um, tell me how they do that and what would be the first step to coming to see you guys? Okay, so uh, the first step in coming to see us is to take a visit on our webpage. It's uh, thedrakecenter.net um, and there was a lot of information there. We have video testimonials from our patients. I can attest uh, to that. I've watched them all. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're all uh, sincere and powerful. Um, you know, many of our patients have really had amazing, amazing journeys. Um, so that's the first place to start. There's also uh, a YouTube page, but also lots of videos. Um, and as you mentioned, uh, my book, The Way of the Butterfly, which The Way of the Butterfly is the paradigm that we use throughout of this. And it's the journey of going from a caterpillar to a butterfly and all the stages that you go through in that from I need to change to what's happening to me surrender to the process and right. hey look at me now I'm something right. different um, so that the pamphlet mm -hmm. and the, or the booklet mm -hmm. um, is that available to people who aren't even who are not patients I mean could yes. somebody get I think it's valuable for it is people to it's, read um, and to it's available and actually if you go to our website and you actually fill out our contact form you'll have an option uh, to download the book um, anyone who submits that can get it it's also for sale on Amazon Okay, well, listen, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you so and, much. And, you know, I always think that when it comes especially to grief and dealing with loss, uh, because it can get so bad. Yeah. Right? You just don't think there's another day yeah. in store for that's, you. That's all you can see. And, and then you need something to come along and say, look, you can get out of that space. Yes. It is possible. It is possible. Uh, give me the website one more time. Yeah, that's www.thedrakecenter.net. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank Appreciate you it. So and of much. course, we should say, too, you have been an emergency room doctor. Oh, yep. Uh, doc 20, 20 years. Yep. I mean, so much experience. So, yeah, seen a lot. Uh, yeah, you've seen a lot and you felt a lot. So, thank you for sharing it. I thank appreciate you so that. Much. Thank you. Appreciate it. And again, that is uh, Dr. Drake. Thank you so much for joining us, of course. Uh, I'm Brooke Allen. You are watching Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. This is episode 18. And if you have never seen the show before, uh, this is a show where we brew up topics from a woman's point of view and help you connect to the resources uh, that you may need, whatever you may be facing in life. Of course, we have reached a very exciting uh, milestone last week. Wow, it is a slow crawl, let me tell you. Uh, we finally reached 1,000 followers on uh, uh, Facebook and uh, I was pretty excited about that my kids we were all jumping up and down uh, because it felt like a huge milestone and of course you can see all of our shows on our Facebook page and you can also follow us on Instagram and you can find me on Instagram at Brooke Allen official well this is caffeinated conversations and we are live from Maylee coffee which is in fabulous Ferndale I used to live here years ago it is so awesome uh, to be back we are at uh, Maylee coffee a pretty new location and uh, coming up in our women in business segment a delicious flashback to math class uh, will explain of course we are just seven days away from st. Patrick's Day and green if you didn't know happens to be one of my very favorite colors uh, let's head to one of our presenting sponsors time more vintage in st. Clair Shores let's watch it's all about being green coming up also my executive producers birthday so happy birthday Christina uh, but time warp lots of green stuff and I love Absolutely. green. so look at this beautiful dress I know, isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes. And I matched the, the this belt didn't actually come with it, but oh, it I thought it, it added a nice color oh, yeah, to it. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. So what mm -hmm. era is this dress from? 1950s. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And, of course, a lot of drink wear, and we love I know, I the love leprechauns. Those. I love those. The little They're leprechaun. so cute. The drink stir toppers. They're great to add a touch of whimsy. Whimsy. <laughs> whimsical. Mm -hmm. We love whimsical. And, of course, the drink wear and mm -hmm. everything else. I mean, so for St. Patrick's Day, what is one of the most popular things that people come in looking for? Uh, drink wear. Okay, makes or sense. Or actually, and clothes, green. Green, as, um, I, as you can see. Yeah, <laughs> but a lot of drink wear because they're, they're going, if they're going to somebody's house, they take a gift. Okay. So they'll pick up something like some wine toppers right. or something, but in a green fashion. In a green fashion. And you know, you can't beat uh, the idea of taking your host or hostess mm -hmm. a gift, no. but something super cool uh, like you will find here at Time Warp. Of course, this isn't all you have. You've got a ton of jewelry, yeah. clothes, aprons. I mean, mm -hmm. anything you're looking for from eras gone by, you can find it here. Absolutely. Uh, but of course, we are all green today talking about St. Patty's yep. Day. And uh, we always want to be safe, right? Yeah, we plan for where we go and what we do. We let's plan for how we're going to get home. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. Cheers, Jason. Cheers. 
And of course, I always have such a great time hanging out at Time Warp Vintage in St. Clair Shores with Jason and Steve. If you go in there, uh, make sure you say hi to them. They're very friendly. I just love them. Uh, well, it is called The Great Haircut, and this week it is all about helping kids and breaking a world record. Our next guest is Regina, and Regina, forgive me, say your last name for me. Villamere. Villamere. I was going to I was going to guess, but I was, you know, the way you this day is been gone, been. I, was, I was not going to risk it, it's to be honest. One. It is okay. One. So you are the founder of Children with Hair Loss. I am. Okay, so tell, first of all, tell me what that is. Well, Children with Hair Loss opened in 2000 as a resource for any child with any kind of medical hair loss. We do human hair replacements for all the children across the United States at absolutely no charge. It came about, my niece had cancer when she was three. We spent a lot of time at Children's in Detroit. We spent five years, uh, which is a long time. She recovered. She's a teacher today, awesome. so that's a good part of the Very story. Very good. But through it, we seen the need for children, and there wasn't anything for them. And when they did wear something, it was awful. It would which be synthetic, hot, right? and it would be very outdated like their grandmother would have worn oh, no. instead of for a child. Right. So hairdressing was my background. I taught, I had my own salon, and I went in search for children and there wasn't anything. So I started crisscrossing across the US, taking classes, learning hair replacement, and we have the best hair replacements in the world for the children. That is amazing. So you started in 2000. Now it is uh, 2024. This is a big week for you guys. It's a very it is a very big week. week. So tell me what's going on. Well, we're very, very excited. We'll be leaving for San Diego Friday morning to meet with the Long Hairs Company. Okay. And there are two wonderful men from California that partnered with us back in 2017. And it was just before they made it through the Shark Tank for their hair ties. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an incredible viewing of the shark tank so anybody could see it from their website the break cut right um and it was very funny mark cuban partnered with them and they make these wonderful hair ties they think they're hair ties for guys but let me tell you they're hair ties for girls too they're their really? favorite once they put them on okay. they don't break the hair uh -huh. so they also designed with our logo and they give them to all the children the recipients of children with hair loss too they were perfect in their hair replacements to keep the hair in place without breaking it off or sliding. And you know, kids, you know, I mean, they're running around, they're, you know, they're playing, yes. and and I can only imagine the embarrassment if something should happen, Sure, right? or girls that are in dance, or, right. you know, they're doing sports, yes. different things. So they were just perfect. So they came up to us, oh, back in 2018, and decided to do the great cut mm -hmm. in 2019 to break Again, this world record, and they did it. Okay, and we were there, and you were there. And we were okay. There. All right, and we get to go back and witness it happening again. It'll be on the pier there in San Diego. If you don't have energy, you will when you get there because those guys <laughs> are high energy. <laughs> that is awesome. um, they energize you just talking to them, and they have the most wonderful hair. And what a gift that they're giving to us. I mean, their long hair represents their company and what they do, but they're giving it up for the children. Right. So it's really amazing. Our what a collaboration, right? Oh my goodness. It's an amazing collaboration. Our manufacturer will be right there on site, okay. which is really great for children with hair loss because they don't have to ship the hair to us and then us pay the expense to ship it back to the manufacturer. Oh, okay. So they'll be right there on site, right. collecting and taking it right back with them, being ready to make it into okay. here. Can you hear me? And so people here in Michigan, we're on a tight deadline with this, but we yes. can we can help, right? They can help. Okay, so tell me yeah. how this works. What they need to do is go on and register their hair okay. on the break cut. Um, it's very simple to look up. It's very simple to fill out. And they would take it to their postal system, but they will have to check with them to see the fastest way to get it there because it has to be registered in by Friday. By Friday? This week, the 15th. Okay. So California time, what's the cutoff? Is there a cutoff time? Yeah. No pun intended. <laughs> no, not that I know of. These guys okay. are going to work in Okay. That they the mail delivery stops on the, that time of day. I don't know what okay. time their mail delivery stops. Right. But we'll all be there at the pier helping them out. Okay. And we're taking a team out there with us to help. People don't realize how much work the Guinness Book of World Record is. Yes. It's an amazing amount of work. They're very tough. Yes. They're very accurate. Right. And it will happen. Okay. So okay. So that's happening Friday. Give me the so for people in Michigan where you are, obviously, you are from here. from here. Yes, you are from here. So if there's a child out there that needs help, um, how do the parents, guardian, caregivers, how do they contact 
contact very you? Very simply, they can either go on our website and give us a call. If there's a child that's in need of hair, they can go on our website at childrenwithhairloss.org okay. and simply fill out the hair application. It's a very simple process. We don't ask any financial questions because we are totally free. Okay. So they fill it out. We ask them for some pictures. So it's done for technical purposes behind the scenes and a prescription. We have to prove that they do have a medical hair loss. The process begins, and if they get it done very quickly, chances are within a week sometimes they get their hair. Really? So it can be a very fast turnaround. Okay. We've done some special designs for our alopecia children, mm -hmm. and we bulk order them because of having the hair available and sending it to the manufacturer. We have the pieces available for the children with that particular hair loss reason that's designed specifically for them. It's done with a medical silicone inside the cap so it won't slip and a bully, bully can't come up and pull it off their head. Okay. So that's really important. Right. For our cancer kits, we have the adjustables. And if we don't have it on site, we call our manufacturer and usually within five days, it'll come in and it's off to the child. You know, it's amazing because it seems like you guys, I mean, hair, of course, is a big deal, right? It's a very big But deal. you've thought of other things, you know, like a bully pulling it or somebody rustling around and, you know, how it will stay on the child's head. And that's so important to Absolutely. think of all of it. Or the child that refuses to go back to school. Right. Because of the hair loss. So we have to work very quickly. And this is something that insurance won't observe as being a necessity for a child. They consider it cosmetic and it couldn't be farther from the truth. It's very much needed so that these kids can get their confidence back. When you turn a child to the mirror and you have that hair back on them, mm. you just see them come alive. It's sure. the most amazing experience ever. And if people want to see some of our kids, they can just simply go to our Facebook. And sometimes the kids will put their packages on there that they've received. Okay. It's a big white box. Okay. It's done with bright blue and bright pink tissue paper. Mm -hmm. So when they open it, it's a gift. It's like a present, right? It's, it's their gift. Okay. Their hair is already pre-styled on a head form. So they can simply take it off and put it on. Wow. And quite often they don't have to do anything else to it. But we do have hairdressers that have committed across the United States. We have several thousand of them wow. that will help us at any time to make sure it fits correctly or if it needs to be trimmed. And that's their giving time to the child that they don't charge. So that won't charge any, that no. won't cost anything. No, and they can return each year until they're 21 at no cost. Wow. And their anniversary date is the date that we send it out. Okay. So then the following year they get to come back at that same time. Okay. And we are busy. We did I'm 650 sure. last year. Nationwide? Nationwide. Wow. At no charge. That is amazing. And we go out and raise the money so no family pays. Right. Okay, so if somebody wanted to help you financially, they, how, they how can they? <laughs> and how does someone do that? They can actually go right through our website and just make a monetary donation, which is the simplest way to do it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. I'll be thank looking you. forward to hearing if that uh, world record is broken this weekend in San Diego. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It will be broken. It will, it will be, be broken. broken. It will be broken when it's broken. <laughs> when it's broken. <laughs> and I wish I was there with you in San Diego you when it is you, broken. You would have a great time. <laughs> well, seriously, thank you so much. It's thank a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you for coming. You. And uh, we are looking forward to that positive, positive update. Absolutely. All right. Thank, thank you, you, Regina. Thank you. Very much. Thank have you. A great day. you too. Thank you. And of course, you are watching Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. This this is episode 18. Remember, you can always catch uh, Caffeinated Conversations on Apple or Spotify anytime. Of course, we are excited to introduce another new sponsor, the Michigan Institute for Neurological Disorders, also known as the Mind Institute. They've been around since 1969 and specialize in disorders of the brain, spine, and nervous system. Um, I have a confession. I'm actually a patient because I've been suffering from migraine since I was 17 years old. And after a long road of hospital stays, also uh, searching for that right medication that didn't make me feel like I was in a, uh, a, a fog every day, uh, we finally got it right. So I went to Mind, and I can honestly say that their care and treatment has improved my quality of life so much. So check them out. Uh, Mind, they're also known for 
one of the largest multiple sclerosis centers in the country, uh, treating over 5,000 patients every year. They are headquartered in Farmington, um, Farmington Hills, that's where I go, uh, but they also have offices in Roseville and Dearborn, and their website is mindonline.com. Well, you are watching Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. This is where we brew up topics from a woman's point of view, and today uh, we are at our new location. We are at May Lee Coffee on Woodward, and coming up uh, in our Great Lakes segment, of course, we will tell you the benefits of sea moss. You don't want to uh, miss that. It's uh, super tasty. You'll be surprised, let me tell you. Uh, but this might bring back memories of math class. Thursday is Pi Day, and uh, that is in honor of the mathematical symbol. But for our Women in Business segment, a good friend of mine, uh, we are joined by Jane E. Teitelbaum of Great Lakes Pop Pies in Clawson, and you are celebrating all week long. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, so we have Pi Day. It's this Wednesday. Um, we have $3.14 off if you spend $30 or more. Okay. Um, it's a fun day. Um, today also is a big day for us. Our shepherd's pie that comes out once a year is available starting today, and we have it through Easter. Okay, and shepherd, oh, that's one of my favorites. It's actually one of my dad's favorites. Mm -hmm. You know, Yeah, you know yeah. that. So when people think of uh, pot pie, they think of like cold and dreary and the winter you know it's like a cozy food but you know it's funny because you guys have really adapted and I mean Cinco de Mayo there's a taco pie mm -hmm. for the holidays there's Thanksgiving in a pie um, and you've got a ton of other varieties tell me what those are so our main one is chicken, chicken. that's what most people <laughs> come for um, but we have beef stew Italian meatball um, vegetarian pasty we have a vegan, we have gluten-free options, which are really popular. Um, we have personal size, we have family size, and we also have these little hand pies. Yeah, those hand pies are awesome because those are something that you can actually take on the go, uh, pack in your kid's lunch, and you have some breakfast ones too, don't you? Yeah, okay. we have broccoli and cheese, bacon cheddar, and sausage and egg. And you have some dessert pies. Yes, <laughs> uh, we have an apple, we have a chocolate pecan, and we also have these little apple ham pies that are very popular. And we have chocolate chip cookie dough in a ham pie. That's Seriously. amazing. Yes. Okay, so you actually opened during COVID, mm -hmm. right? So um, how has that been for you? I mean, it's been a long haul, right? Yes, um, that was a strange time to open, but we were actually busy because we had frozen food. Right. So people were coming. Um, I got on TV a few times and the, you know, some people really- And you were actually this. delivering. And we were delivering. You were delivering. Yes. And what about, and now you're found in grocery stores. Yes, we're in maybe about 120 grocery stores. Okay. In mostly Michigan and some Ohio and I believe a little Indiana. Okay, so for anyone who wants to start their own business, obviously we're out of COVID, so you did it during a very tough time. Uh, but what is your one piece of advice that you would give somebody? Um, just keep going. Uh, it's hard. <laughs> Ask as many questions as you can, talk to as many people as you can. Uh, if that's what you want to do, just keep your head down and keep going. Just don't give up, right? Don't give up. Um, so when I was in the store a couple weeks ago, it was interesting because you have a hard time finding bakers. Right. So what is the hiring uh, scheme, or not hiring scheme, but I mean, what is, has it been easy for you, hard for you? What's going on with that? Um, I have a really good staff, and we have pretty much kept the same people this whole time. Uh, I maybe added a few. Uh, I could use maybe one more bakery person, you know, who really knows how to work in a bakery and do production okay. for the afternoons. But besides that, um, you know, we've been pretty good. And um, as far as hours, the only day you're closed is Sunday, right? Right. Okay, so what are the hours? We're open every day from 10 to 6 and Saturday 10 to 3. And can you, you do catering? We do catering and we also ship all over the country. Uh, so this, to me, that is so interesting because, you know, I lived in California for years and there were things that I wanted from Michigan mm -hmm. that I just could not get, right? So for anyone who lives out of state and has that person, I mean, you actually pack it up and ship it and they get it within what, two days? Two days, yeah. Okay. All right. So what's the website? GreatLakesPotPies.com. Okay. And people can order online? Mm-hmm. They okay. can order online or call the store. 
And are you still cooking them up too for people who are lazy like me? Yes. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> call us about an hour ahead right. and we'll put one in the oven for you. Yes, I have called Jandy many times and said, <laughs> listen, I'm running late. Can you cook a pot pie for me? Um, so yeah, so please check it out. They're in Clawson, 14 Mile. And the shepherd's pie comes out today. It's today, yeah. Okay, so that is out today until Easter. Yep. Okay, and then what's the next one? Will you tell me? I don't know um, if you'll tell me. I think it's Cinco, it Cinco de, de Mayo. Mayo. Yeah. Okay. So the taco. Okay, and the taco, and then of course for Father's Day, the chili. chili. <laughs> See, I am a frequent customer, if you can't tell. So listen, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, and actually, we should say that our giveaway today is actually a gift card for. Great Lakes Pot Pies. So uh, again, you want to share and like and comment 18 on Facebook and uh, we will get that out to you because if you haven't tried it, you certainly want to try it. Uh, Jenny, again, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here mm -hmm. and I appreciate all the pot pies mm -hmm. over these last couple of years. Uh, they are delicious. So oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, well, in case you are just joining us, you are watching Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. Uh, this is a show where we brew up topics from a woman's point of view. Uh, we are broadcasting live from Maylee Coffee in Ferndale on Woodward. Uh, coming up, it is our Curtains Up segment. We will be uh, talking to Village Players in Birmingham about uh, a show that is described as both touching and humorous. Actually, I've seen it many times, and it is one of my favorite shows. Well, one of my favorite segments that we do and one that actually means a lot to me is our Halfway to 100 segment, uh, which is about aging gracefully, but also about taking care of our elderly loved ones. So often resources are needed uh, when you don't know how to help them. So uh, Visiting Angels, they are one of those resources and they help with daily care, like showering, getting dressed and more. Uh, but Brittany Denham, uh, she is their director of communications and she was actually on our first episode uh, of Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen. And you know, she has been on multiple times since and she She's always uh, so full of information. Let's watch. It doesn't always have to be that hands-on care, um, but some people and a lot of older adults um, get depressed and they're lonely. And so we just have a caregiver go in for a couple hours and play Uno or Trouble <laughs> or you know whatever that senior needs. Um, and so we want to be there for them and the caregivers. So as far as the caregivers, how do you how do you support them? Yeah. So uh, there are a lot of other community resources as well. So I want to make sure because we're talking about resources that I mentioned that there's a lot of caregiver support groups. Um, um, and things that people need to tap into to, to kind of give themselves a break, to give themselves that breathing room. Um, but how we can support them is we give them a break, right? We come in, go to your doctor's appointment, go get your hair done, go to go, a movie. <laughs> go to a movie. Like right. you go to your movie and watch your movie and we'll take whoever our client is and go watch a movie with them. That's awesome. Like we'll take them. Um, so really giving the caregivers a break because it's so necessary and they get burned out. Um, they just do. So, yeah. so what is one thing that you hear most from, from caregivers that they're struggling with? Uh, burnout. 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 Um, definitely burnout. Um, they're they're there 24/7 around the clock. They never get a break, um, and that's hard. It, it would be hard for me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a mom. I'm 24/7. Right. It's hard for me sometimes. <laughs> right, so right. I can imagine caring for someone who is a, a whole person. You know, mm -hmm. they're a whole person in a bed in a chair. Um, so it's hard. Well, and that brings up a good point too, because there are people who have yeah. kids and then yeah. have elderly parents yeah. and they're kind of juggling it all and yeah. it seems impossible sometimes, yeah. but it's okay to ask for help. Definitely, definitely. And that's where we can come in or there are a host of other resources that can come in to help relieve that burden. And Visiting Angels is loco. They serve Farmington Hills, Franklin, Livonia, also Southfield and surrounding areas. They have no minimum hours required. Uh, you can find more information on their website, visiting angels forward slash Farmington Hills forward slash home. Well, here's a question for you. Have you ever tried sea moss? Well, I had not until a few weeks ago, but it is a key part of our next guest story. Uh, Jonathan Garner is the owner and founder of Flovia Health Foods, and he joins us for our Great Lakes segment. And uh, Jonathan, 
I have to say, it was so funny. I, I met him in full disclosure uh, because I was grocery shopping yeah. and you were handing out samples and I'm all about interacting with people and I was like, what is that you've got? Yeah. And it was this. Yes, the, the uh, dry sea moss, and you had a very interested look on your face and also confused. Yes, so, I was very confused. Yeah, I was, was like, pretty common. what does one do with this and what yeah. is it? So you came up with this because you kind of needed to. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it was something that I had experienced, actually a health issue of my own. So um, in 2019, I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Um, and it was out of nowhere, completely unexpected. You know, most people, they look for the markers or think of the markers of obesity or high blood pressure right. when it comes to heart issues or anything like that. And that was not the case at all with myself. It was a simple uh, viral infection. Um, so long story short, it attacked my heart. And come around uh, 2021, uh, I am then hospitalized uh, for three months straight. Uh, Henry Ford Hospital, uh, Beaumont, which is now Corwell Health, um, and then U of M as well. And uh, all three gave me the same uh, prognosis um, that I was going to pass away within six months. Um, I would need a heart transplant, but before that, I would need an LVAD, which is literally a machine that pumps your heart for you. Yeah, um, yeah. you have to wear battery packs. Um, there's certain things where you can't shower. Um, you have to constantly clean the wound because it's an open wound and it's just um, a lot that came with that that I didn't see um, um, in my life you know as far as the uh, Plus quality you have young of life. Kids, well right? yeah that was a huge part right? of it you know I'm married I have young kids you know and we travel you know uh, all of my kids are invo involved in some form of athletics uh, you know dance football soccer cheer um, so with that in mind, um, I decided to leave against medical advice. And you had a, you had the letter. It is framed. Yes, yes. It is framed. So when he goes out, the letter is next to him um, when he's handing out samples. Uh, to, I mean, to say your story, absolutely, right? Absolutely. I mean, you left against medical uh, advice, and yes. then, and then what happened? Well, I left against medical advice. So that was May of 2021. And keep in mind, I was hospitalized from February of 2021, end of February 2021. So I left against medical advice, and literally. The uh, only two things I, you know, changed up or switched up, so to speak, initially uh, was just walking every day, you okay. know, getting some fresh air and a little bit of cardio and then taking sea moss. Um, and literally that letter that you uh, referred to, yeah. uh, University of Michigan, then uh, mailed that to me in October of 2021. <laughs> so literally five months later from leaving this medical advice and them telling me I'm crazy, mm -hmm. um, they sent me a letter saying that I'm, I'm too healthy to pursue a heart transplant at this time. And they deemed that from a long stringent series of tests. Um, they have these VO2 uh, stress tests and various other ones. So yeah, they have me hooked up the machines looking like, you know, the, the binding man binding or man. something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so, um, they sent me that letter, and once they sent me that letter, I knew, like, okay, it, I'm on the right path of just, you know, taking care of your body, of and your wellness, health. wellness, Your right? wellness, yeah. yeah. You know, I always tell everyone, um, especially when I have those vendor demos that you yes. referred to um, at the grocery stores, whatever the case may be, that you have to be your own uh, health advocate. Yes. You know, obviously, you listen to the doctors, the physicians, you know, um, and you just have to take what they say and then incorporate that along with your own learning and studying. Um, and then you got to make whatever choices or decisions you feel is best for you and your family or your loved ones. Well, you know, too, you say, uh, you know, you couldn't imagine living that kind of life yeah. with all the, you know, everything that would go into that. Absolutely. And traveling with your kids and, you know, here they give you months to live. Yeah, yeah. And you've come up with this uh, incredible product, which I've tasted. Um, so this, I mean, this is... CMOS. Yes, that is CMOS. <laughs> okay, so when I said to you, what do you do with that? <laughs> yes. What was your response? <laughs> well, like I said, you had a very familiar look on your face when it came to how, uh, how you viewed that. Right. Because most people see it and they they have the same questions right. like, like, okay, like, what the heck is that? Yes. What do I do with that? Right. So this is actually uh, CMOS itself. Uh, this is it in its raw, dry form. Um, so with that, um, you prepare it and then you make the CMOS gel which is also carried in the grocery stores, the Meyer uh, markets, which is their grocery formats. Mm -hmm. uh, so with this, it's a process of soaking, well first cleaning um, and then soaking 
Um, and then after you soak it for 12 to 36 hours, then you blend it in whatever mixture of water and whatever fruit or, you know, some people like to use sweeteners. Um, and then you make the gel. So I always tell people uh, this right here is the work. Mm -hmm. um, and this is really for like the DIY people that like to do yeah, it themselves. Yeah, I'm not one of those people. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's amazing. I wasn't at all either until, you know, this became right? my business. Your so, thing. Uh, right, my thing. So, um, this is for the DIYers, but this is already put together, made for you. Um, just like how you did, you just take a, a tablespoon or a teaspoon um, and you just incorporate it into your diet. And it tastes good. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, so it really you. does. So yes. the flavors are, I think I had strawberry. Yes, or, you tried strawberry. The um, okay. There are three infused flavors that are carried in the uh, various grocery stores. So you've got apple, strawberry, um, and then also mango. Okay. And they're all organic. It's actual fruit. Um, it's not any type of added sweeteners uh, or um, any, anything like that, artificial flavors, mm -hmm. all natural. Um, and then there's also pure as well, which is just the sea moss itself, which, like I told you, is bland as all get out. Right. But once again, but they, you get the nutrients. Oh, and absolutely. You, need, you get right? the nutrients. And that's the, the strength that's the of uh, the importance of sea moss is the nutrients, the minerals. It's rich in minerals. It has 92 minerals uh, that the body actually needs and uses. So, for instance, in my situation with heart failure, um, the heart doesn't beat as strong as it should. So, um, there's some arrhythmia or irregularity with the heartbeat. Um, and so this is very strong and very rich in potassium. And potassium is one of the main minerals that help to regulate heart rhythm. And so I know that definitely uh, helped me immensely. Well, I can tell you, I've had a potassium IV before, really? and those hurt so bad. I would much yeah. rather eat sea moss every day of my life yeah. than have a potassium IV. Agreed. I yeah. actually had, when it, I was uh, hospitalized, yes. I had to get the oh. IV of potassium, and yeah, yeah it's not a good not experience good. <laughs> whatsoever. So, yeah, this so, is a better so, yeah, decision. This is a much yeah, better much option. Absolutely. Um, okay, so this is available. Yes, this is available in the Meyer markets. So those aren't the great big super centers that you see right. where you can get anywhere I from. I met you at Woodward Corners. Yeah, that's right, Woodward Corners. Yes, that's where it's at. Woodward we Corner in Royal Oak. Um, and then also you have downtown Detroit on Jefferson, East Jefferson. Um, and then also Neighborhood Grocery, which is the only black-owned grocery store um, in Detroit. And then you have various other ones like uh, Mike's Fresh Market, Market Fresh, um, What's the deal, which is a pickle sandwich shop on Six Mile Liver. What is so, the deal? No. <laughs> yeah, what is the deal? I love that name. It's very know, clever right? that they came up okay, with. Okay, so it. can people get it online too? Yes, also online too. Uh, Flovia7.com is the website. That's F L O V I A, the number seven.com. Um, I sell, or it's uh, 16 ounce jars that are available there online, as well as the uh, dry sea moss as well. Okay, so what is one word after. Pe when people say after they taste this? A lot of times it's wow. Yep. Wow. That's that, what I that, said. That, that, yes, I think that is <laughs> that what is you what said. That is what I said to you. And, and the reason is because when people hear sea moss, they, you know, sea moss doesn't sound uh, that inviting. I can no, imagine. not really. <laughs> um, so people already kind of have a preconceived notion that it's going to be something that's completely disgusting. Right. And, Slimy uh, and gross. Oh, absolutely. And they're just amazed uh, when they actually taste it and they see for themselves that, oh, no, this is very good. good, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. This is doable. It is doable. Yeah. And, you know, I have to say, um, my twins don't often watch the show so I can say this that I did buy some and I put it in the parfait oh yeah the yogurt yeah, definitely, parfaits definitely. oh yeah they're, yeah, good. they're good they have no Shh, idea know. I know right don't they don't even know so <laughs> all right so obviously uh you look healthy thank you, you thank you feeling good definitely feeling good feeling well um, I know you've been traveling a lot I've had a hard time getting you on the show <laughs> yeah yeah I've actually been traveling once again that's you know one of the um, uh, main enjoyments that you know my family gets mm -hmm. is you know going out experiencing new places new sites um, you know my wife and I we always you know try to get pride our kids with you know new and different experiences so um, you know it's greatly uh, 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 this has helped out tremendously in that endeavor, um, just with the quality of life. And that's important. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, one more question real quick. If somebody was facing the same predicament you were... Okay. That's a hard question. What do you say? Well, my personal opinion, right, and I'm not any type of, uh, you know, uh, doctor or, you know, uh, physician, but the first thing I would say is kind of what I stated earlier, be your own health advocate. So do your research. Um, just from my personal experience, when I was hospitalized, every time the doctors, uh, the cardiologists would bring different medications to me, I would ask them for a printout. 
a printout to see the side effects, a printout to see the long-term pros, the potential long-term cons. And then from all that information that I gathered and studied, I derived my own decision. I came to my own decision. So that's all the advice I can give um, or that I would give is just do your research, do your homework, and then just ultimately make the best decision, not only for you, but your family members, whether that's your you know, uh, children, your spouse, your loved ones, and just make an informed decision. Okay, thank you. Thank well, listen, you. it was such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you for, uh, you know, I stopped at your table for that demo. You and did. You was very brave. <laughs> you know, a lot like, of people see and on? they're kind of like, uh, you know, but right. no, you did stop. No, and so. I'm so glad I did. And yeah. uh, this is tasty and obviously very healthy. And I just, you know, thank you for sharing your story. Oh, thank I you. appreciate it. I appreciate All right, it. All right, give me the website one more time. The website is flovia7.com. That's F-L-O-V-I-A, the number seven, dot com. Okay, thank you, John. Uh, this is Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen, and we are broadcasting live from May Lee Coffee off Woodward and Treat Dreams. Uh, coming up, we will tell you about multiple opportunities to help our furry friends across, uh, across Michigan. Uh, but I would like to welcome one of our new sponsors, uh, the Sterla Insurance Agency of Michigan Farm Bureau Insurance. Uh, Lynn Sterla is fantastic, especially when it comes to uh, sorting out what you need or what you actually don't need on your policy. Uh, but even more important than that, uh, Lynn will make sure you understand your policy. So should something happen, uh, you and your family are covered. Uh, by the way, Michigan Farm Bureau Insurance is Michigan-based and serves only Michigan residents. So uh, why does that matter? Well, they're not subject to the same uh, risks as national companies, and that makes a big difference because that means uh, makes them more competitive. And you can trust Lynn Sterla uh, to create an affordable program that will protect your family on its worst day. So whether you need a policy for your home or business, or maybe even both, Lynn can help you. Uh, you can head to sterlainsurance.com. That is S-T-U-R-L-A insurance.com uh, to find everything you need. Well, this is one of my favorite segments. It is our Curtains Up segment where we highlight what's happening at theaters all across Metro Detroit. And today it is the Cemetery Club, which is happening at Birmingham uh, Village Players in Birmingham. We're joined by Sally Savoy, one of the actors of the show. Sally, we have met before. Yes. And uh, this is the first time that Village Players has been represented on the show. So thank you so much uh, for joining us. And of course, the show opened this weekend. How to, how to do? Oh, it was fantastic. We actually sold out yesterday really? for the matinee yes okay. all right so you sold out so anyone who may not know the cemetery club doesn't sound all that great right <laughs> I mean so uh, kind of give us a synopsis of what this show's about well we we've tagged it a dramedy okay um, there's <laughs> some humorous parts some tender parts it's about love loss and most importantly renewal and along with that, it's shown through the friendships of these three women. Um, it's, it's a touching play. There are three widows from Queens, New York, that meet once a month to have tea and then go to the cemetery to visit their husbands. And there are three very distinct personalities. My character is a nurturer, the peacemaker of the group. Uh, Lucille's character is bigger than life. Fun, 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 fun. You never even know. Even at the cemetery? Yes, <laughs> even at the cemetery. Even at the cemetery. Yes. She's sure every man in the cemetery <laughs> is looking at her. <laughs> and then Doris is, she's having a hard time moving on. She's a little um, uh, closed off and lives in the past where Lucille is out there trying to make life happen for her. And Ida, my character, is on the fence and you sense it in the beginning of the play. She's thinking about moving on and living her life again. So at the end, I mean, it's a heartwarming show. Very heartwarming and very funny. Yeah, it's very funny. It's one of my favorites. And so, okay, you open this weekend. So how many, two more weekends left? We have two more weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then uh, the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th is our closing day. Okay, so how are ticket sales? You sold out already? Over yes, the, the Sundays sell out pretty quickly. Okay. There's still some seats left. Okay. Um, so definitely uh, tickets are $25. 
at BirminghamVillagePlayers.com. Okay, right. and it's, thank you so much. It's such a fun show, and you know, these women, you really get invested. Yes, right? audience members can yes. be prepared to actually connect right. on many levels. Right, and that's yeah. important. Yes. And is, but the laughs are important as well. Absolutely. Right. Many laughter through tears yes. uh, with this so show. Maybe bring the Kleenex. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> maybe bring the Kleenex. Okay, give me the website for Village Players. BirminghamVillagePlayers.com. All right, thank you, Sally. It's a thank pleasure. You. I can't wait to see the show. And it's, you know, Village Players, a fantastic theater. Uh, so thank you again for joining us. I appreciate it. You're more than welcome. <laughs> well, something that is uh, very important to us here at Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen is networking. That is why we um, have always, for the most part, been live uh, because networking is an important aspect and uh, it's all about bringing people together in the community, different business owners, and we have a super cool opportunity to do just that this week at one of our new sponsors, uh, Deanna Grove of Drip IV Therapy and Hydration West. Wes Bloomfield tells us a little more about her business. Let's watch. A drip therapy and hydration means that you could come in and get an IV infusion um, with just the regular saline, or you could have uh, nutritional ingredients added into it, and you can walk in and do that uh, on your own. Most people um, that come in, they understand that they're, they are dehydrated, so they do want to come in, and it's really nice because they get to take charge of their own health in that manner, you know, as opposed to maybe waiting in a, an emergency ER or something, room, right? you know, for three or for four sure. hours, you know, of course, if you need to do that, of course, go. But a lot of people understand that they are dehydrated, especially if they've been traveling over a midwinter break or coming back and they're jet lagged, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired exactly. and I'm so dehydrated. So yeah. this is kind of like a quick fix it, it in a really very beautiful is. setting. Yeah. So it bypasses, okay. I, I, I like that you said a quick fix. It bypasses okay. the entire digestive system, right? And goes right to where it's supposed to go which is the bloodstream. Okay. So your water eventually needs to end up and hydrate your bloodstream. So people leave feeling great, you know, and a lot of people do it before they travel, just kind of as that safety net right around themselves, that's you know, awesome. before traveling. Right, too. that's a good idea. Yeah. And you also have uh, the B12 shots. We, uh, we know that for extra energy, <laughs> pep in your stuff. Deanna can handle that. And I love this, get hydrated while you network. And I'm excited about yes. this because we are actually going to be there there, uh, March 14th, and you do hold, I mean, people can come in groups yeah. and kind of mingle and get hydrated at the same time, right? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's kind of a fun way, a new it, twist. It is, and we're looking forward to having you there. Oh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, okay, so if people, can they just walk in? Yeah, so you actually can walk in. You can also go to dripiv.com and schedule your own appointment. And again, you can check out Drip IV Therapy and Hydration's newest location in West Bloomfield. We are having a networking event there on uh, March 14th. If you want to join us, reach out on our website, Caffeinated Conversations with BrookeAllen.com. Well, our next segment, I'm very excited about this, where unconditional love calls home. Uh, that is the mission of Friends for Animals of Metro Detroit, which is based in Dearborn, a nonprofit that um, I have been involved with in the past and in the future. It is coming up. Uh, I am joined by Corey. Keller, the president and CEO, and Corey, I do love your tagline. I have to say that. So tell me what that means. So, I mean, really what that means is what we give back is, is more than what's humanly possible is the fact that, like, that's just what it is. Uncon unconditional love and just the connection between people and the pets. Yes. And so, and we're, we, at Friends for Animals, we really thrive in that. Like, that's what, where our focus is, because we really want that unconditional love between people and pets. And, you know, pets make all the difference sometimes in people's lives, and they may not even know that they need a pet. <laughs> That's right. right. You know, you, sometimes you just kind of walk right into it, right? <laughs> right, so, exactly. Yeah. You're like, oh, I think I need that dog. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so you guys have a lot of events coming up. I'm, super, I'm super excited because yes. I'm actually involved in one of those. So yes. uh, the first one is happening March 23rd. Tell me what's going on. Sure, yeah. So it's actually our second annual Best Buddies Brunch. Um, so it's a Saturday, March 23rd. Um, we actually have two seatings this year um, just because it was so popular. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have a morning seating, which will actually have Dan Miller, that the Fox. Guy. Yeah, I know, right? Just, <laughs> just him. Right, just um, him. So, and then we'll have a, a afternoon seating, which right. you'll be hosting with for us. Which just are, me. With just you. <laughs> just me. Um, so it's going to be a really wonderful time. Okay, so tickets still available. 
tickets are still available. Okay. Um, that you can go right to our website, which is metrodetroitanimals.org. Mm -hmm. um, and again, all the proceeds actually go back to the animals directly. Okay, so I actually heard, and I, I wasn't sure about this, but are there going to be animals there that day? Of course. Okay, yes, well, I... right. <laughs> of course, we're so an really animal is, uh, yeah. <laughs> It really is uh, lunch, brunch with your buddy. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay, so people can get a ticket, and then can you actually leave with one of these animals? Yeah, so they will be available for adoption. Okay. Um, and, you know, otherwise, you know, we'll have, we'll have, we have so many animals animals and actually we're over capacity yes. right now so um, but we'll be bringing animals to this brunch um, you know just kind of depending on who we have available then um, but they will be they are animals up for adoption okay so cats yeah. and dogs cats and dogs cats yes. and dogs are up for adoption uh, you guys are in Dearborn yes right the, so how if somebody not able to make it to the buddy's brunch, how do they find you? So yeah, um, again, best place to start would really be our website because uh -huh. it has all the information, whether it's, you know, you can't make it to the brunch, but you want to maybe attend another event or just see what we're all about. So again, metrodetroitanimals.org. Um, following us on Facebook um, is also really beneficial because we do put a lot of things out there, um, including things on learning and education as well. And that's important. It's very important. Right, it yes. is super important. And then you also have something coming up, which is Pachella. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that is in June, right? Right, yes. Okay. It's, it's the first weekend actually of summer, okay. um, so June 21st mm. <laughs> okay. um, through the 23rd. So it's actually going to be a three-day event. Okay. Um, that Friday night, we are going to be doing a basically a rock-off. We have multiple bands all lined up to play live music. Um, Saturday is going to be our street festival, um, which is really cool. Lots of exhibitors. We'll have games and activities for people and their pets, um, live music food trucks, um, tour of our shelter, um, all kind of fun things going on. Um, and then Sunday, it's really about the animals. And so we are actually doing a huge major adopt-a-thon. Um, the goal being to adopt out over 100 animals that day. And we're actually bringing in other shelters and humane societies that we work with closely. So for example, Michigan Humane is going to be partnering with us um, on this. They'll be there. We're going to be recruiting other shelters and rescues in the Metro Detroit area. It's a very much a community-centric event. Well, you know, and that's what's interesting about you guys, too, is that you do bring in other, mm -hmm. other uh, shelters and you, you work as a team yes. sometimes, right? Yeah. Because it's important. It is. It really is important. It's, you know, it's all about working together for the collective cause and just doing what's right in the community and helping keep people and pets together and also helping those animals that do need that second chance mm -hmm. um, and finding them their forever home. Yeah, you know, and just the benefits of having a pet is mm -hmm. so amazing. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people may be lonely, may have suffered a loss yeah. or uh, just, you know, just want that someone to cuddle or something yes. to cuddle, right? The yes. four-legged creature. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you guys are open week, I mean, on a daily basis, Yes. right? So yeah. people can come in. Yes, so really the only day right now that we're closed is Mondays. Um, and um, we are pretty much open at 10 a.m. every single day. Um, you know, and we close at four. So, um, but yeah, you, you can come in anytime you want. Even it's just a look, um, you okay. know, like just to look around, walk around, see what the shelter is about. Um, again, we're based in Dearborn. Um, we just came off of f finishing a expansion at the shelter. Yes. Um, and we actually will be um, finishing that expansion this year. We're going to be breaking ground one more time okay. to finish the entire facility, um, which is going to be adding about another 3,500 square feet. Um, so, and that's going to actually involve a community center for our community where we can do all kind of things from education to dog classes um, to being able to have our feed phyto program work out of there which is uh, a pet pantry okay. for those that can't afford pet food um, so there's going to be a lot of great benefits. Um, there already is with the shelter, but we'll right. be adding even more programs and you know, services. You just mentioned the cost of, of mm -hmm. pet food, and I had to get James, my dog, some food yesterday, and I was like, wow, that yeah. is expensive. Yes. It, I mean, it is exorbitant right now. And, it is. And so you guys do offer help. We do, yeah. You know, it's... It's something that, you know, people can call us up and just say, you know, hey, I just can't afford it this month, and we'll just have them come on by, and we'll be able to give them, you know, whatever they need, whether it's, you know, dry dog food, or maybe it's canned cat food, maybe it's cat litter, mm -hmm. um, but we do try to provide what we can, because we rather have animals stay in their homes yes. than actually be surrendered to the shelter. Right, and that's so important to you yes. guys, and I love it's that. very important. Okay, yes. so tickets are still available yes. for the March 23rd event. Dan Miller is in the morning, that guy, and then <laughs> I am uh, emceeing the afternoon one. Give me the 
website one more time. Metrodetroitanimals.org. All right. Thank you so much, Corey. Thank Always you. a pleasure. And I'll Same. see you in a couple weeks. Sounds good. All right. Thank Thanks. you. And uh, we love our community partners. And we are community partners with the Shades of Pink Foundation. That is where they help lessen the stress for so many breast cancer patients across Michigan by paying for daily living expenses. And one of their testimonials from their website reads, as a single mother age 45, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. It quickly flipped our lives upside down and a lot of uncertainty started to seep in. And this organization helped our family uh, to meet the great financial burdens that started to pile up due to treatment. And our family is filled with gratitude for organizations that seek to help uh, and meet cancer patients' needs where they are. And we are forever grateful and can focus now on getting better. Again, that is a testimonial on their website from a single mother who is 45. Well, I am excited. You've been hearing me talk Talk about it. Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen has its own team at the big fundraiser for Shades of Pink Foundation. Uh, that is April 27th happening at the Detroit Zoo. Uh, come join us, join our team. Thank you to Judy who is uh, not able to meet us there at the zoo, but she did donate to our team, so I do appreciate that. Uh, to sign up, you can scan the QR card on your screen and we will hope to see you there. And of course, uh, Jason Waldron. Hello, Jason. Hello. Uh, he is one of our sponsors for uh, Time More Vintage and and uh, we have this amazing giveaway today. And, we do. Uh, although it doesn't look like much, there's a lot in this bag. And I hear there's a, there's like some goodies in there, there too. There are some goodies in That's here. Awesome. So yeah, so there are some goodies in here. We're super excited about this. It's tasty. You may find that out later yourself. Yes, due to technical issues, yes. and we love technical issues we, in this. Yes. Um, <laughs> do we? I'm not sure I, we do. No, <laughs> being facetious, but. Um, I will once this once the show streams live, yes. which will be happening today. Okay. Um, I will be able to pull the uh, the person who likes comments. Number which one? Eighteen. Number eighteen because we're in show eighteen. Yes, which is, show eighteen. Wow, time is flying. I know this is kind of crazy, right? It's fun though. It I is. love it. We started before the holidays, and mm -hmm. uh, now it is almost what we're eight days. From spring. I know. Yeah. And right? It can't get here quick enough, <laughs> trust me. It cannot. It cannot. So, okay, so we'll be doing that. Yeah. Uh, so, they want to comment. Okay. They want to comment um, 18. They want to comment, or show number 18. Right. So, they want to comment. They want to share it. Yes. Please share Please it. Please share it. Please share it. And then like the page if you don't. Yes. So, you know, you follow. Check and make sure you yeah. like the page Come or you follow, follow the page. Man. It's, it's good. <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of cool things coming up. There are a lot of cool things. I know. Uh, so, yeah, I just want to thank you always for all your support. Oh, absolutely. And we had so much fun at Autorama yeah, a couple we weeks ago, so that was awesome. And, you know, just uh, doing the show, being such a great supporter, I, I do always. appreciate that. So. Always. All right. I believe so, in it. Uh, you believe in it, and we believe in this gift bag that will awesome. be given away yes. with lots of good stuff in it. So, again, uh, you want to like, follow, share, and comment with the number 18 mm -hmm. because this is episode 18. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, of course. I want to say a big thank you to Josh at uh, Maylee Coffee for hosting us. Also, my executive producer, Christina McDaniels, Dave Scott and his team, Jacob, uh, who is here with us today, Calvin and Jared, and our new sponsors that have jumped on board. Of course, we appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Coming up next week with Caffeinated Conversations with Brooke Allen, we will be joined by Corwell Health to talk about all things maternal health. Also, I will have a TikTok sensation who is tackling the subject of Alzheimer's and dementia. All that and more coming up. Again, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Brooke Allen. We'll see you again next Monday at 10 a.m. Be there or be square. Have a wonderful week. And by the next time we see you, it will be officially spring. Keep the coffee hot. Bye-bye.